from water into air. We long to return home, where we rediscover that perhaps we are not so different after all. Life and death is an endless circle for the species that live in our seas and oceans. Fish will aggregate and form shoals for many reasons. To rest, for protection, to hunt and to breed are just a few that we understand. These surgeon fish have gathered at a remote coral reef for a mass spawning event. The males hotly pursuing the females as they release their eggs. Attracted by the abundant food, snapper and triggerfish begin to arrive in their thousands. On a smaller scale, these flamboyant cuttlefish eggs can be found in a discarded coconut shell. Perfectly formed miniature cuttlefish seemingly wait impatiently to be born. Not much bigger than a grain of rice, the cuttlefish takes its first steps. Then, remarkably, only moments after its birth, it begins to hunt. Elsewhere on the reef, a large shoal of a mackerel type fish called scad has been trapped by a group of Trevally, who herd them and continually probe their defences, looking for their chance to strike. Attracted by the noise from the distressed fish, the number of predators continues to increase until finally the hunters make their leave. A small school of scad has been separated from the main shoal. The panic fish look for a chance to escape, yet the fate of many of them has now already been sealed. The circle of life relentlessly continues. An ancient traveller stopping to eat. A mother guarding and protecting her offspring from the hidden dangers around her. A predator waiting in ambush. From the smallest inhabitants of the reef, and even pregnant males, to the true giants of the ocean, some of whom we have such a deep connection.